welcome to the Radical Success Podcast, where we focus on internal transformation to experience external results. I'm your host and coach, Doreen Rainey. Join me each week for insightful messages and powerful interviews to equip you to take bold, courageous, and radical action to live the life you want and deserve. Well, welcome to 2019. Happy New Year, Radical community. I hope that your holidays were filled with some joy and peace and love and that you had the opportunity to connect with friends and family. And as we move into this brand new year, that you are just as excited as I am about the possibilities, that you are just as excited as I am as what could transpire in the next 12 months. What could happen in the next 52 weeks? What could you create in the next 365 days? You know, I have always been a strong believer that everything can shift in 12 months that everything can be different, can be better in the next 12 months. And so this is a time of new beginnings. It's a time of fresh starts. It's an opportunity to clean the slate. It's a chance to evaluate and assess those things that you're going to take with you into this brand new year and those things that you're gonna decide to leave behind, leave back in 2018. And you know, if you've been a part of my community for any period of time, you know I am a believer that any day is a good day to start, right? That you don't have to wait for that milestone birthday. You don't have to wait for that particular date or moment or the first of the year. But I will tell you, there is something about January 1 that gets you moving. And so this podcast is all about setting you up for your best year yet. But in order to do that, we are going to be going deeper. We are going to be moving beyond the regular run-of-the-mill goal-setting, resolution-setting process. And we're really going to commit to doing something deeper, to creating something richer, to doing something that is more complete, around creating holistic success that we want and really taking a deeper dive into the process of creating the internal transformation that I'm always talking about so that we can create external results. And so this episode is all about the concept that something deeper is here. And not only is something deeper here, But in order to really experience the self-defined success that I know I'm pretty sure you want in this brand new year, then something deeper is not only here, but something deeper is required of you. Now, before we get into today's content, I want to extend to you a very special invitation to kick off your year. As a coach and mentor and trainer, I am more committed to making sure that you are equipped with the tools and the strategies and the insights that you need to really have an internal transformation, to really find the beliefs and the faith and the courage and the boldness that's necessary to fully experience the life that you were created to have. And so I am going to be teaching a masterclass um, virtual training on January 8th. And I absolutely want you to be a part of it. 
And this training is absolutely free and it's online. So you can attend from anywhere in the world. And it is so easy to grab your seat. All you have to do is go to DoreenRainey.com and click on start here. And here's the deal. We want to make sure that we have what we need to get where we want to go. And I'm so excited about this training. I'll be sharing with you what it means to have a mindset shift, how you can assess what type of mindset shift you may need to have in order to get where you want to go. And then some practical and some implementable tools and tips that you can use to begin to make the internal shifts that need to happen so that you can reach the external goals that you have. So I would love to have you as a part of this training session. Again, you can go to DoreenRainey.com and click on start here and you will be in the session. So now let's talk about this concept of going deeper. You know, it's so funny. I hear people always debating whether you should make resolutions or not make resolutions. People debate whether you should post and share your goals and your vision or whether you should just, you know, keep it to yourself and and just do what you need to do. And, you know, I really believe that it doesn't matter whether you set resolutions or don't set resolutions. It doesn't matter whether you post or share or, you know, whether you keep silent. You know, what matters is that you've decided that you are going to make a change. You've decided that you want something more. You've decided that you want something different. And it doesn't matter what you call it resolutions, goals, vision, doesn't matter what you call it. The only thing that matters is that you set yourself up to make it happen. The only thing that matters is that you set yourself up to win. And when we are talking about going deeper, moving beyond what we've done in the past That means that we not only have to set ourselves up to win, we also have to prepare ourselves to win. And then in 2019, we have to expect ourselves to win. And I want to challenge you this year to not just take these words as surface, to not just listen and nod your head and go, yeah, 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 I know I'm going to, you know, really get things moving. I'm going to set goals or I'm going to create resolutions. I don't want you to just have another run of the mill, brand new year, goal setting conversation or exercise with yourself. I want to challenge you to go deeper. I want to challenge you to go deeper in how you set yourself up to win. I want to challenge you to go deeper in how you prepare yourself to win. And I want to challenge you to go deeper in your expectations of your desired outcomes. Because I firmly believe that the deeper you're willing to go, the better results you'll create. That the deeper you're more willing to go, the bigger payoff you'll get. Now, you know, I love, love, love my definitions. And so I cannot sit here and tell you to go deeper without really telling you what it literally means to go deep. And so when we talk about this concept of setting ourselves up, preparing, expecting at a much deeper level, what I mean is that we must be willing to extend far, far down from the top or the surface. And we must become very intense, very extreme around the things that we do that take us on a deeper journey 
of creating the life experiences and getting the goals that we want. And so in order to have 2019 be all that you want it to be, I want you to commit right now that you are going to go below the surface. That you're just not going to stay on the top level. That you're willing to be a little bit more intense. That you are willing to be a little bit more extreme for the next 365 days. I hear so many people say, you know, 2019, this year is going to be my best year yet. And I see so many people wishing other people that this will be your best year yet. But if it's going to be your best year yet, then you must do something different than you've done in the past years. And one of the things that I am inviting you to do differently is to go deeper. So let's break each one of these three areas down so that we can really fully understand what we need to do to go deeper. So let's start with the setup. You know, if you want to create big goals around your business, your career, your finances, your relationships, then the first thing you have to do is you got to set yourself up to win. And This part of the process is that typical concept of writing down your goals or creating a vision board or being able to articulate what it is you actually want to achieve this year. So how do you take that and go deeper? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of examples and then you can decide which one resonates with you the most and you can do that. Or as I share these with you, it might spark your own ideas about how you can go deeper in setting yourself up to win. And one of the first things you need to do is be specific. So many times when I look at people's vision boards or people share their goals with me, they are far far, far, far from specific. And, you know, I am a believer in things like vision boards. I'll tell you one of the ways that I went deeper for myself this year is that normally I create vision boards uh, at the beginning of the year. And I typically have, you know, a vision board that kind of highlights what I want around my lifestyle, my health and fitness, my business, my finances, my relationships. And this year I asked myself, how can I go deeper? And what I ended up doing, I actually created five different vision boards. I created a vision board around my um, prayer and spiritual life. I created a business uh, vision board around my business. I created a vision board around the support system that I need and want to have in place. I made a vision board around my lifestyle, the things that I want to experience um, around vacations and how I want to live and um, things like that. And I made a vision board around my health and my wellness and my self-care. I've never done five vision boards. But what I realized was that I couldn't get specific if I tried to cram everything on one poster board. And so maybe that's something you need to do to get more specific, to go deeper. If you're a vision board person, maybe you can't cram it all on a vision board. So how can you set yourself up to win by getting clearer around the goals that you have? If you're not a vision board person, maybe you write goals down. Maybe you write things like get out of debt or financial freedom. Well, I'm going to challenge you to go deeper. I challenge you to um, get a, a poster board or get a tracking system of some type. And at the top of it, put the exact amount of debt that you're in, like down to the penny. 
pull out those credit card statements, go online and check the balances on those car loans, those student loans. Be clear about what your mortgage balance is. Do you owe anybody any personal money? Like every possible debt that you want to pay off, get that number. Maybe it's $8,322.12. Maybe it's $17,315.84. Maybe it's $286,412.14. Like whatever that number is, go deep, get that number, put it where you can see it and then go deep. How are you going to pay that off in 12 months? What does that look like? What are the weekly payments, the monthly payments and what will your balances be in three months and six months and nine months? Like be as specific as possible. Maybe one of your goals is around your health and wellness. You know, many times people go with that. I want to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Well, maybe there is a deeper connection that you can make with your body that dictates deeper goals. Maybe it's about strength. Maybe it's about endurance. Maybe it's about heart health. Maybe it's about medication. Maybe it's about getting involved in a sport or activity that you used to do but no longer do or maybe you're never done and you want to try. Like let's get out of the vague surface goal setting activity (laughs) and get into a deeper, clearer understanding of what it is that we are going to be creating and experiencing over the next 12 months. Maybe you have some goals around your business. If you're an entrepreneur, you have some revenue goals or you have some client goals. Well, that's great. You know me. Let's talk about the money. Let's talk about how we're going to make the money. (laughs) But what's a deeper? What are deeper goals that you have inside of that business? Is there a way that you want to work in your business? Yes, maybe you have some revenue goals, but is that going to require you to work crazy hours, to sacrifice way beyond what would maybe be expected in a situation like this? Or do you want to make that kind of money and not be frenzied, not be overwhelmed? How do you set that up to win? What support system do you need in place? You know, one of the things that I said earlier was that I made a vision board around my support system. Well, based on the revenue I want to generate in business, based on my lifestyle and health and wellness goals, based on what I want to achieve in terms of time with friends and family and my relationships, I need support. I can't do it all. And so realizing that going deeper when I was setting business goals and things like that, I realized I need support. I need more support. And so I created very specific goals, a very specific vision board around the type of people I'm going to be attracting into my sphere, into my circle to support me as I create the reality of the other vision boards. That's what we mean by going deeper. And so I'm going to challenge you, whether you call it resolutions or goals or new beginnings or fresh starts, whatever you call it, go deeper, be more specific. Because when you go deep, you're putting a stake in the ground. You're saying, this is it. This is what I'm creating. This is what I'm focused on. This is what I'm committed to. And when you put a stake in the ground, if you have ever watched anybody like hammer a stake (laughs) into the ground, maybe to put up a tent or they're putting up a deck or something like that, and they're just hammering that stake and that stake is going deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's all so that whatever they put on that stake is unmovable. And that's what it means to set yourself up to win, to set goals, to create a vision that is unmovable. So here's the question. 
What does deep look like for you? If you've already set some goals, if you've already created a vision board, if you've already started writing some things down about what you want to achieve in the next 365 days, I'm challenging you to go look at that vision board, to go read those goals and go deeper. And of course, as you go deeper on these goals, I would love to hear about them. So as always, you can leave a comment, you can tweet me, you can um, send me an email, whatever mode of communication you have access to, share with me how you've gone deeper on your goals. So that's the setup. So we said we're going to set ourselves up to win, we're going to prepare ourselves to win, and we're going to expect to win. So now let's talk about the preparation. How can you go deeper in preparing yourself to win? So let's talk definitions first. What does it mean to prepare? So prepare means it is the action or process of making ready. It's something that you do to get ready for an undertaking. The goals that you set, the vision that you have, everything you want to make happen in 2019, you have to prepare for it. So what does that look like for you? One of the places I always start when it comes to preparation is I look to answer four questions. So question number one, what do I need to stop doing to prepare to achieve this goal? What are some things that you need to stop doing as it relates to your money to achieve your goals? What are some things you need to stop doing as it relates to your time, what you spend your time doing in order to achieve your goals? What are some other areas of your life that you know you need to stop doing? Are there activities that you need to stop doing? Are there organizations that you need to withdraw from? What are the things that you need to stop in order to go deeper on achieving the goals that you have? You know, if one of your goals centers around getting up earlier for whatever reason, maybe you want to work out, maybe you want to meditate, maybe you just want to get a better start of the day then maybe one of the things you need to stop doing is going to bed late or watching TV late. Any of those things that prevent you from getting up earlier. So that question number one, what do you need to stop doing? The second question when it comes to preparation that you want to ask yourself is what do you need to start doing? You know, maybe one of your goals around your finances is about saving or investing. So maybe you need to start a direct deposit. Maybe a part of your savings plan is to not even see it. (laughs) Have it come directly out of your paycheck and into a savings account. Maybe you need to start reading or studying or researching Because there are some things that you want to accomplish, but you're not quite sure how to do it. And so you need to start the process of becoming a student. So what books do you need to read? What classes do you need to take? What information do you need to gather? Maybe you need to start setting aside time to get done some of the things you know you need to get done in order to make that vision that you have, your reality. So ask yourself, what do I need to start doing? The third question you can ask yourself in preparation is what do you need to clear? What do you need to clear? You know, physics tells us that two things cannot exist in the same space. And so if your space mentally or physically is maxed out, then there's no room to have anything new come in. 
And what you have planned, what you want to accomplish, what might be on your vision board for 2019, I'm going to assume that it's all new. New financial freedom. New business. New career moves. New types of relationships. New levels of self-care. And so if you want something new to come into your life, what do you need to clear out? so that there's room for it to come in. And this could be a physical question or a mental question. Do you need to clear some clutter? Do you need to clear some closets? You know, uh, one of my friends, one of her goals was a new car. And this car that she wants, you know, it's a nice car, it's a pricey car, And she's like, you know, I really got to take care of it. And while she has a garage, there is no room (laughs) in her garage, even if she got the car. And so even though she's not in the position to buy the car yet, she went and she cleaned out her garage. She cleared the space. She prepared to receive the thing that she is working towards. And so what do you need to clear out? Are there some relationships, some friendships that drain you, that um, take away your energy, that dampen your spirit? Do you need to clear those relationships? And in clearing those relationships, it doesn't necessarily mean that you disconnect from that person. It could mean that you have a conversation with that person. It could mean that you let that person know that, The dynamics of the relationship that you currently have isn't quite working the way you'd want it to work. And here are some things that you need from them, support, encouragement, you know, whatever those things are. So what do you need to clear in order to make space for the very thing that you want to come into your life? And then the fourth question when it comes to preparation is what do you need to set up in order to receive the thing that you're asking for? I see this a lot when I work with entrepreneurs and they talk about the money they want to make, the clients they want to get, the products they want to sell, but they haven't set their business up to receive what they've been asking for. They don't have the systems in place in order to take money or track money. They don't have standard contracts or agreements in place. So when someone says, yes, let's make the deal, they're not prepared to immediately send out a contract or immediately send out an agreement. What is your setup? Maybe you want to write a book this year, you know, set it up now. How are you going to publish it? What do you need to do to get it published? Who's going to be your editor? Who's going to create your cover art? Like, what do you need to set up? What do you need to put in place in order to be able to be prepared to receive the very thing you're asking for? This is what it means to go deep. Let's stop playing surface life. Let's stop playing as if things are going to happen in spite of our preparation, when in fact things happen because of our preparation. And so that's the second part of going deeper. We talked about setting yourself up to win. We talked about preparing yourself to win. And now we're going to look at expecting your win. How can you go deeper in your expectation. Because if you've set some goals for the next 365 days, it's my belief that you want to experience those goals in the next 365 days, if not much, much sooner. And so you have to go even deeper in your level of expectation. And that simply means don't wait on the goal to be received, 
to act as if the goal is already received. What does that mean? It means that if the goal you set has come to pass, it's here, you've done it, you've got it, we're celebrating. How would you behave and act from that day moving forward? Because whatever that looks like, that is how you should be behaving and acting now. If you lost the weight, right? You put in the work, you've changed your eating habits, you've gone to the gym, you've done some things, you've lost weight. How would you eat, work out, and carry yourself after losing the weight? Well, going deeper means that that's what you start doing now. (laughs) Right? Going deeper in expectation. When you talk about saving money, building wealth, managing what you spend, If you were to get to that place of financial freedom, how would you manage your money so that you wouldn't put yourself in that same situation again? Would you be setting aside money to save? Would you be looking at how you could invest and prepare yourself for your future? Would you be looking at not just giving anybody that asked you for money, money, (laughs) right? You would be more conscious. You would be more in tune with what it means to build financial wealth. And so why not just start doing those things now? Because once you get your goal, you're going to be doing things to either maintain that goal or go to the next level of that goal. And so going deeper in expectation means that you just start doing those things now. So that's what 2019 for me is all about, going deeper. And I want to challenge you to take this deeper journey with me. And I hope that something I said today has truly resonated with you, has sparked an aha moment, has clicked a light bulb for you, and has really got you thinking, have I been on the surface with my goals and with my resolutions and with what I want to do this year and my approach to doing what I want to accomplish this year? Or is it time that I go deeper? So I hope that what I've shared is resonating with you. And of course, as I've said before, I would love, love, love to hear how this podcast has impacted what you're going to do moving forward when it comes to your goals, your vision, and your resolutions. So absolutely, absolutely leave me a comment or send me a tweet at Doreen Rainey. Shoot me an email. I would love to hear from you and how you plan to go deeper in 2019. And of course, I want you to join me for my special online masterclass training session on January 8th. I'm going to be continuing this conversation um, in a much deeper way (laughs) as I look at the five mindset shifts you must have to create radical success. To be in on that free online masterclass training session, simply go to DoreenRainey.com and click start here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the very first podcast of the brand new year. I am so excited for the next 365 days. This podcast has some great guests coming up. We have some great content on the horizon and we are going to be with you step by step in this journey of 2019 to help you move from where you are to where you want to be. And together we are going to go deeper and stay radical. 
Thanks for listening to the Radical Success Podcast. We would love to hear from you. Be sure to head over to iTunes and subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Until next time, stay radical. Radical.